Hey guys, happy Friday. I hope that you're doing well today. We are going to take a look at our writing and see how it's coming along and see if we're done. A lot of times we think we might be done with our books or writing, um, but we might not be done. So I'm going to show you something that will help us check to see if we are finished. So the first thing this tells us is that we need to check to see if it has a title page when we're done. Well, guess what? I haven't made my title page yet. So am I done? No. All right, so first off, I need to think of a title. My story is all about Noah chewing on things, right? Destroying things. Um, so I think what I'm going to title it is, hmm, let me think. Choose everything. It's going to be my title. And notice that I put a capital letter for each of those words because it's a title. So Noah choose everything. Remember whenever we have our title page, a lot of times it's from a picture that's in our story. So I think the picture that I want to focus in on my title page is the one of the teddy bear that I drew. Zoomed in. Has his arm on the side, chewed on the side, and then this arm is chewed, and then I drew on his paws, and then we had fluff all over the place. All right, and I can't forget to write that it's I me. Mean by Mrs. Tanner. Okay, and then of course I would go back and color this. Now, let's see. So, number one, it has a title page. We got that now, don't we? It does have a title page now. So we're good on that. Second, I have reread and touched every page. I've reread and touched every page. Let's see. I haven't reread it yet, so I need to do that, don't I? All right, so Noah Choose Everything by Mrs. Tina. Wow, wow, wow. Noah, look at this mess. My dog Noah liked to chew on furniture. That page is good. This teddy bear is delicious. Help! No chewed on Huxley's stuffed animals and fluff would go everywhere. Remember I added in the page of it being zoomed in. I looked down and Huxley's teddy bear was destroyed. And destroyed was misspelled, so I fixed it with a Y. No I loved to chew on the TV stand. Okay, so that's the end of my story, and then yummy. I added that in. So that's the end of my story. So I did read every page. Everything made sense. I don't need to add anything else in for that. Now let's see what's next when we think we're finished. So we've done the title page. We've reread every page and touched every page. Now three, I use the story hand chart. Okay, so remember, on our thumb, does it have characters? Yes. Okay, does it have a setting? Yes, inside of my house, right? Everything you chewed up, or she chewed up. Everything she chewed up. Now, does my story have a number one, a beginning? Does it have a beginning? Yes. Does it have a middle? Yes. Does it have an end? I don't really think I tied up the story very well at the end, so I think I might need to add in an ending and um, see.
see what I can add in. So let's see on my ending. I know that you know a tune on everything, but I still loved her. So I want to make sure that my readers know that. So I'm going to draw Noah. Their little eyes, her long ears, her cute face. Draw in Noah with her cute tail that like to wag back and forth all the time. Okay, draw Noah. And I want to draw myself right next to her, giving her a hug. So I'm down on the floor with her and giving her a hug. Okay, and saying, I love you, Noah. And I think Noah would be saying in her brain, I love you, too. Lots of hearts. For more details. Alright, and so I would write with my words just like what I told you of even space though O space Noah space church food space on Everything comma I space stoked ill loved loved the D E D loved her period. I think that would be a good ending to my story. So I'm going to add that to the back of my book to make sure it's complete. All right, so now we know that I have my beginning, my middle, and my end. And remember at the very end, also making sure with the heart in the middle that it has emotions and feelings. And I think with my ending, I definitely showed my emotions, my feelings, even throughout the story of saying, Noah, I can't believe you did this. Showing that in my speech bubbles, I showed emotion. So I think now I am finished with my writing. So I want you to go through too. See if you have your title page done. Reread every page and touch every page and every word. And then go through your hand. Did you have characters, a setting, a beginning, a middle, an end, and emotions? After all of that, I want you to record yourself um, reading your story and showing your story to your teacher in Canvas. And I can't wait to see all of your fabulous writings and how they all have come together with all the amazing things that we've added to our story. I hope that you have a great weekend. Bye, guys.